For years, universities and the National Collegiate Athletic Association, otherwise known as the NCAA, have been making enormous profits off of the athletic performances of collegiate student athletes. While many of these athletes receive scholarships giving them a free education, the high risks of injuries that can demolish potential careers at the professional level far outweigh these rewards. The biggest way universities and the NCAA use athletes for profit is through the actual sporting events. Many college football venues bring in close to 100,000 spectators per game, leading to large profits for the schools from ticket and concession sales. Texas's football program tops the list of most profitable college teams worth about $762 million. The players don't receive a dime of this money and the NCAA enforces harsh penalties on schools that give extra benefits to student athletes. The NCAA is also able to profit off of athletes through the large television contracts that they sign with major networks. This could be seen back in 2010 when NCAA stuck a 14 year deal with CBS for the TV rights to air the NCAA men's basketball tournament. CBS paid the NCAA $11 billion for the rights. Once again, none of this money went to the athletes themselves. Although the NCAA prohibits schools from creating merchandise with players' names on them, this doesn't stop the university from getting in on the action. They simply leave the student athletes mean off of the jersey, but it is clearly office which player the number belongs to. This can be seen as recent as April of 2013, when Louisville sold shirts featuring Kevin Ware's number, where a sophomore on the basketball team had recently suffered an injury to his leg which received a lot of attention because of how gruesome it was. The shirts were sold online for $22, allowing Louisville to essentially profit off Ware's historic injury. Overall, it is simply unfair for the NCAA and universities to exploit their student athletes the way they do. These athletes earn their schools and the NCAA millions of dollars, all while risking serious injury while receiving little in return.